Hello and welcome back to Wellywood Wargaming. My name is Damon and this is the series where I give you bite-sized videos on every single hanger-on in the game of Necromunda. This one is an Orlok-specific one, one of the only Orlok-specific ones, and that is the Grease Monkey. Grease Monkey. That funky monkey. Before I get started with this video though, please do like, share... <laughs> Like, share, subscribe, and check out the Patreon as well to keep me supported in this crazy, crazy long endeavor. So, the Grease Monkey. This one, like I said, is Orlok specific. You can get this guy, uh, all the rules for this guy, in the House of Iron book, uh, which is the Orlok book. Uh, for 40 credits, you can only have one of these guys, and they're pretty unique and pretty cool, to be honest. Um, the stats are as follows. We've got a movement of 5, a weapon skill and ballistic skill of 5+, plus. Uh, a strength and toughness of 3, a wounds 1, initiative 4+, plus, and attacks 1. We've got a mental stats of a leadership 8+, plus, cool 7+, plus, willpower 7+, plus, and an intelligence of 5+. Plus. So pretty smart. Not very good in combat, though, with that ballistic skill and weapon skill of 5 up. Everything else pretty average. Um, however, some really cool weapons here. We've got a wrench slash maul. The wrench counts as a maul. And we've also got a blowtorch, which counts as a hand flamer. Very nice for 40 credits. Now, hand flamers are one of the best weapons in the game, and the maul isn't. But it's nice to have on a character that's only 40 credits. Um, now, he does come with the Munitioneer skill as well baked in, which is a very, very good skill, especially if you put it next to your Heavy Bolter or Lock Champion or something like that, um, to re-roll those ammo checks on something that uh, you know hasn't got great ammo. And he also comes with the Overcharge special rule here. And this is the real reason why you're going to buy him for your Orlock gangs. Um, by the way, just to point out, they haven't released a Forge World model for the Grease Monkey yet, unfortunately. Um, but hopefully they will do at some point. I think they're probably, they've probably got a long list of things to get through before they get to the Grease Monkey, though. But you never know. They can be quite surprising in just suddenly releasing these hangers on. Anyway, Overcharge is as follows. And like I said, this is the reason why you want to get it for your Orlock gang. So, a gang with a Grease Monkey can overcharge one of their Brutes or the Jump Boosters on their Wreckers. So this can be used on your Brutes, your Ambots, your Ogrins, or your Wreckers. Um, personally, I'd probably use it for the Wreckers most of the time. So, during the pre-battle sequence, an overcharged Brute increases both of its movement and attacks characteristics by D3 when it activates. That on an Ambot is scary, by the way. Roll once and apply the results to both characteristics. However, if a natural one is rolled when rolling the D3, the Brute suffers a wound with no save possible. An overcharged jump booster adds D6 to the movement of the Wrecker. Roll each time the fighter is activated on a natural one. Um, there are no extra movement gained, uh, and the Wrecker may only perform a single action during its activation as they struggle to control the malfunctioning pack. So a little bit to digest there on the Brute. You get extra movement and attacks on an Ambot. That is frightening. Um, on Even on an Ogryn, to be honest, that's good because you start, suddenly the Ogryn's like movement six or something. Um, and, you know, on the Wreckers there, getting an extra D6 movement on something that's already pretty damn fast. And honestly, I love Wreckers. I think they're one of the best pieces in the game. They're super, super fun. They're just really, they make Orlok much more fun than they were before they had Wreckers, put it that way. I think most people would agree with me there. Um, but the fact that this guy comes, you know, if he's if he's if he's in a game, he turns up for a game with a with a hand flamer and a maul. Um, it's not bad, really, is it? Especially with that munitioneer skill for forty credits. If you're running lots of wreckers and or brutes, then this guy is a must buy for an all lot crew. I think later on in a campaign, you probably don't want to get him too soon. You're probably going to want to get a rogue dock or something first. But the grease monkey is definitely a, 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 a definitely a good buy. I think later on, a mid to late campaign. Uh, when you've got lots of wreckers and brutes and whatnot. Really, really cool. I'd like to see a miniature release for this guy. Um, so far, though, I've seen some really cool conversions on Instagram and whatnot and Facebook too. So um, let me know if you've used the Grease Monkey uh, down in the comments below, uh, how you found them so far. Are they worth it? I think they probably are. Um, but do let me know, and I'll be back with another video real soon. Peace out. Peace out.